I know usually I've been saying this is a massive haul. This one is very different and unusual for us. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Thanks so much for clicking on this weekly grocery haul video. We've got one stop shop. I know, not usual for me. We went and did a Walmart grocery pickup. We spent about $110 and it is stuff we normally don't get. I am leaving to go out of town to Salem for a sister's trip and I am so excited and pumped. I cannot wait to go. If you've been watching and following, you know. I am like uber excited and we are actually coming back the day that you guys are watching this. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what I got for my boys to fend for themselves while mama is gone. $110 Walmart online grocery pickup, not a typical haul for me. Um, definitely usually we get a lot more than this for $110, but you know, I'm gonna be out of town for four days. Uh, that's why. I mean, what would what would the world be without moms? I mean, daddies, y'all killing it too, but you know what I mean out there. We got some Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. I got a lot of stuff actually for the next couple of days before I leave on my trip that we were out of. And then we're gonna, uh, of course, y'all, massive haul. It's a small haul this week, but next week it'll be massive haul when I get back. We got movie nights. Things will be back to regular programming. You know what I mean? So we got this because I love making that French toast bake casserole from Jack Perez and I have none on hand and I wanted to have that the day before I leave on my trip. Caramel rice cakes. I wanted to have these for when I get back because I'm not going to be going to the grocery until like the next day after I come back and I just want to make sure I had these as a pre-workout snack for when I get back into the gym after we come back from Salem. They did have some Walmart cash rebates. So sometimes I do the Walmart cash rebates and then sometimes I do Ibotta. If you do Walmart cash, guys, you can apply that money directly to your purchase, which is nice, which I did for this haul. So I think it would have been like maybe $10 more than what I mentioned you because I had a little over $10 in Walmart cash to use. But what I'm trying to say is I got $5 back total from Walmart cash to use on my next Walmart order. These were a better deal than the Ibotta. So I got two of the peach. I also wanted to get some of the Dan and Light and Fit in the four packs for Trey for when I get back, but they were out. But that'll tide me over until I get back from my trip. Also got them some Fairlife milk for cereal because I know they're probably going to be busting into that quite often when I'm not here. The chocolate milk is for them every single week. They have to have it in their life. I had a substitution. I wanted, I think, strawberry, but they subbed me for the peach and I already had peach in my cart. So Trey's gonna get peach yogurt wasted, but that's probably one of his favorite flavors, so he won't be mad about it. I didn't necessarily need egg whites, but just in case when I come back, so I'm not scrambling, I got one to go into the fridge, never hurts. And then again, this is for like before I go on my trip and the night that I come back or the day after. And again, I won't be going to the grocery until that Friday. So I got a bag of the Orida Golden Crinkles. Yes, we have flew through that big, remember I told you guys, it won't last long, that big bag from Sam's. We killed it super quick, like that I hate to admit. I need to pick up another one, but I got this one in case. And if you're wondering, the macros for three ounces is 100 calories. And I like the way these taste in the air fryer. They're just awesome. And if you've never tried the Golden Crispy Crowns, oh man, this beats a regular hash brown, like tater tot, hands down. They're so good, especially in the air fryer. A little higher in macro, but that's okay because they are so damn good. 140 calories for 11 of them. And that's going to go on the sides of whatever to make my life easy before and right when I get back from my trip. Need to get some more lunch meat. We flew through that one from Sam's Club. It is gone. That big old thing of turkey is gone. So until I get to Sam's, I got this one. And it's always out of stock. Y'all tell me that y'all can't ever find this one. The Great Value Thin Sliced Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. Macros on this are fire too. I think it's uh, 50 calories for 9 grams of protein. Such a great like low-cal protein hack is lunch meat. I didn't get a lot of produce. As you guys can see, I got banana because I didn't want it to sit for four or five days, actually six days because I'm picking this up a little early and go bad. So I'm going to like get produce wasted when I get back from my trip because y'all know that Trey especially loves it all. But I just know that daddy's busy with work and everything else and you know all that kind of stuff isn't a priority when mommy's not here. So I got some bananas for Waylon especially, hubs to take to breakfast on the go for work and for myself when I get back. 
We tried these great value garlic breadsticks last week with the Olive Garden pasta. They're okay, all right? They're not like the best thing in the world, but they're 150 calories a breadstick and a lot of the other ones are like 200 calories. I got some other things on my radar we might try, but just real quick, I threw that in cart. And then this is for when I'm not here. When's the last time you've seen me buy a Stouffer's boxed frozen thing? Like way back in the day, before 2019. I'm not gonna say it's not here on my channel when I started back in 2016, cause back in the day, we used to go through some Stouffer's lasagna. It was our jam. Don't knock it. I know it's not great with the preservatives and the sodium, but it's good for like a party or something and you don't feel like cooking. That lasagna is the poo. But Waylon specifically wanted me to get the big ziti in the large family size. So that is what we got. Is it the best? No, but I'd rather them have this than necessarily going out to eat every freaking night is what I'm trying to say. Convenience for dad with him working and everybody doing all the things. And I cannot find the great value pizzas. Y'all know I love the great value frozen pizza for when I'm gone, all of them said out of stock. So I don't know if that's true or not because I did a pickup and y'all know how the pickup lies to you sometimes, but I got the freshetta because that was the next cheapest ones and the most comparable to what I know they'll like in the pepperoni and they weren't terrible price, but they were like 250 higher than the great value. So come on, great value. We need those back in our life. I got a couple of things that we were out of just to throw in. I went to go make my taco Greek yogurt sauce and I had like this much Taco Bell sauce. I actually didn't have enough to make it. So it's like hella thick right now, but I thought I had a backup and I did not have the Taco Bell mild sauce. So I got that for the drizzle, always need that. And then the boys love having those homemade lunch bowls. If you've been watching the lunchbox shorts here or over on my TikTok, I've been showcasing trays. Waylon does take them every once in a while too, but he likes eating school lunch. So I got some more of the knockoff to the Ritz crackers for them for that because we're completely out. I like to use the all free and clear Mighty Packs when I'm washing my towels and my makeup erasers because I don't want like the extra fabric softener stuff like on my face. I just want it to be like as pure as possible when I'm putting stuff on my face. I, I'm super sensitive to stuff to you, as y'all know on my face. So I got the all Mighty free clear packs again. These last a while for our towels, so it's not a bad deal. And there was like a dollar cash back from Walmart. Got some Sprite products because they were finally on a rollback. Still expensive, but better. We did like the story, but it's just not the same as a Sprite Zero. Y'all comment down below your thoughts on it. I kind of feel like it tastes a little mixed between Sprite and Mountain Dew, which I'm not against but I still like the Sprite Zero better. I hate to say that to you, Pepsi. Got the Sprite Zero in the little 16.9. I sometimes don't want a full can. I just want a little bit and put it in the fridge and drink on it the next day at night. So that was a no brainer since they were a little bit cheaper. And then the 12 pack was on a rollback. So that's what I got to stick into the fridge. And then I got a little bit of wax melt wasted just because I have zero fall scents. And I have that wax warmer from all of you guys know. So I was like, let me go ahead and put some in cart. And a lot of these were hella cheap if you bought them online versus in store. So we got the Better Homes and Garden Caramel Bread Pudding. Um, yes. Caramel Apple Slice. Apple Butter Cookies. Banana Pumpkin Bread. Maple Sugar Drizzle. And Apple Buttered Rum. I think this one was a dollar. These are a little bit smaller. And then with the hack with the matte wax warmer, if you want to get the wax out, some people put the thing in the freezer and pop it out. I've done that before, but I just like adding a couple of cotton balls to it. It soaks it up. You put them in the trash and it is clean and ready to go. So I had a few cotton balls I needed to replenish for the wax warmer. So this is our not so typical grocery haul this week. Mom's leaving for four days and daddy and the boys are fending for themselves. That's what this is about. Next week, we'll have a massive one. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that one because we'll, we'll need to get a lot of stuff when I get back. So that's gonna do it for this weekly grocery haul. If you look forward to these, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. I promise it will look back to normal to, uh, next week. I was gonna say tomorrow. Next week because I've got to get, I have zero produce. I have zero of all the things on hand, but I didn't want things to go to waste while I was gone. And I know I would have time to go in stores and pick up the things that we truly need, get back to the movie nights, all the things. So if you like the massive, Pauls, they will be coming back. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope it was uh, informative, fun, small, different, I know. But thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in next week's massive grocery haul. Bye, y'all.